In 1199, Richard named John his successor. John is unfit to be king. We want Arthur, we need Arthur. Arthur is the rightful king. He has a claim to the throne that John doesn't have. We can probably settle for John for right now, but may we not forget that Arthur is the rightful king. Capture the rebels, don't let them escape. Sir, we got Arthur. Interesting. <laughs> you must treat them all well. There will be consequences if you don't. I will not agree to treat them well. They are rebels. That disgusting man raped my daughter. But how can you be sure? Because after she resisted him, he locked her in the Tower of London. <gasps> Uncle, you are drunk. We need to get you home. I am not. Don't call me that, you ungrateful boy. Please don't. <laughs> if you stop resisting, you'll live to see your father again. It's up to you, Matilda. Good. You're dying of dysentery. No! No, 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 no. Until you're old enough to take control. Where's my crown? I took it because I'm old enough now. Magna Carta, which means the Great Charter, is one of the most important documents in history as it establishes the principle that everyone is subject to the law, even the king, and it guarantees the rights of individuals, the right of justice, and the right to a fair trial. After King John died, his 
son and heir, Henry III, was to take over. However, Henry III was only nine years old, so someone else had to step in and rule until Henry III was of age. Fun facts about King John. He was also known as John Lackland. His brother was Richard the Lionheart. John came, John came from a family of backstabbers. He was implicated in the murder of his own nephew. He was also accused of trying to rape his daughter, one of his barons. John even fell out with the Pope. He lost most of his father's continental empire. John granted the original Magna Carta. His barons launched an all-out war against him. Two, three. And finally, he died of dysentery. After 10 years of marriage, Isabella and King John had decided that their marriage was neither happy nor successful. This ended in them not being together anymore, and that is why he ended up getting remarried. One thing that is quite interesting about King John was between him and his two wives, he ended up with 18 children. Henry was born in Winchester Castle on the 1st of October in 1207. He was the eldest son of King John and Isabella of Aglamane. Isabel and John were married on the 24th of August in 1200. Isabel was no more than 12 years old and had, may have been as young as 10. John was 33 or 34. When John remarried in 1200 to Isabel de Aglamane, he housed his new wife and his ex-wife together, which could have been rather awkward for the two women. From 1189 to 1199, King John was married to Isabella, Countess of Glossner. From 1200 to 1216, King John was married to Isabel of Ag Anglomine.